Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. Everyone is a customer, but not everyone is an employee. The question one might ask is whether it is more important to prioritize the customer or the employees. There are two sides to this issue. Although both sides have valid points, I believe that businesses should focus on prioritizing its employees over its customers. Employees are the backbone of any company, the ones that get the work done. Without employees, there is no customer service or products produced. One side of this issue is employees first. It states that prioritizing the employees before customers results in happier customers who have a better experience when using customer service and dealing with employees. If the employees are happy, then they'll be dedicated to their jobs and more likely to provide good customer service. Research shows that an increased level of employee satisfaction leads to greater productivity and enhanced customer service. Happy employees result in better work ethic, which is very important in today's business world, especially when trying to compete with other companies for customer support. One research study shows that three quarters of all our industrial conflicts originate with employee dissatisfaction. A reason for this is many people are paid minimum wage, which can lead to poor customer service. Another point in favor of the employee first model is that employees are more likely to be involved in their tasks if they are dedicated to their job. According to the Harvard Business Review, a study proved that employees who feel a sense of commitment to their jobs are more likely to be involved in their work and demonstrate greater effort. This makes sense because when someone is dedicated, they'll do anything in their power to stay committed. Employees being happy also helps the bottom line. Employees who feel that they are treated in a fair manner are more likely to be satisfied with their jobs and organizations. Such employees are much more likely to stay in an organization when they feel like they are understood. Employers should treat employees as individuals, not stereotypes. If employees are not happy, it will result in negative customer service and dissatisfied workers. If an employee is not treated fairly or respected, then that person might end up demotivated. This could lead to complaints and other issues between management and employees and finally customers. Another point in the customer's first model is that unhappy employees mean unhappy customers. If an employee does not respect his or her manager, they are likely to have no respect for their customers. Another school of thought is that managing employees or prioritizing them before customers leads to a decline in customer service. To begin with, unhappy employees result in unhappy customers. No one likes to pay for a product and have it be defective or delivered late. In addition, employees who lack motivation tend not to give customers the level of attention that they require. When an employee is not treated fairly, it can result in a decline of productivity. If management does not treat employees with respect, then there might be complaints about unfair working conditions. This could lead to strikes or workers walking off the job. Although this is rare, it's happened before. The opposite side of this statement is that when management treats employees fairly, it will result in greater productivity. Employees also give customers their best work when they're happy. Employees who feel satisfied with their jobs are more likely to put forth an energetic and enthusiastic effort. When management treats employees with respect, there might be higher morale and more teamwork. When workers feel appreciated for their contribution to the organization, 
they're more likely to cooperate within teams and help each other. A great example of this is a workplace where everyone gets along and has a common goal. Employees come first in the customer service model when you factor in the fact that they are the ones who interact with customers the most. According to an article by Ken Blanchard, customers often do not remember how much you sold them. They remember how you made them feel. Employees can make or break a company. An example of this is the 2012 Olympics in London, where the security guards and other employees were not friendly towards customers. As a result, tickets were left unsold, according to Thomas Back, International Olympic Committee President. When management treats employees with respect and as individuals, it might lead to less turnover. According to Howard Business Review, employees who feel treated with fairness and dignity are more likely to stay in their jobs. This means that there will be less training of new employees which results in lower operational costs. When management does not treat employees with respect, it will result in high turnover. According to an article by Donald Asher, unhappy employees are the number one reason that good people leave jobs. This can lead to increased costs due to more training of new employees. Employees come first in the customer service model when you factor in they're also customers. Employees want a company that is a good place to work, a place that cares about them and their jobs. That also means they expect the same from their customers. Employees come first in the customer service model when you factor in customer retention. Great customer service as a result of employees doing their jobs result in repeat customers and customer loyalty spikes. This can lead to better revenue when customers return for repeat business. Employees come first in the customer service model when you factor in that they are more knowledgeable about products than managers. Employees typically know their business better than senior managers and understand the service that customers require, according to an article by Ken Blanchard. When you put employees first, they'll give their best effort and your business will flourish. Employees are usually more knowledgeable about customer needs. When management gets together to make changes, those at the top of the organization do not have as good of an idea as those who are closest to customers. This can lead to a lack of customer satisfaction if customers' needs are not being met. In conclusion, employees come first in the customer service model. There are many reasons why employees should be treated with respect. This can lead to higher morale, which in turn increases productivity and efficiency, leading to reduced costs. Employees are the ones who interact with customers the most, so they should be treated well so that customers are satisfied. Management should treat employees as individuals instead of just a cog in the wheel because it will increase teamwork. When employees feel appreciated, a company is a better place to work and the customers know that they will be taken care of by those who have their best interest at heart. Employees are more knowledgeable about products and customer needs than management, so there should be an open dialogue between employees and managers for the sake of efficiency. Management should treat employees as if they are also customers because employees expect respect when they are customers. And when employees feel respected, it will increase their productivity since they will want to do a good job. Hey, I hope you liked this episode. Go check out the others and you'll find inspiring content there as well. And do share and subscribe and make sure you spread the word. Thank you.